Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today it's not Jeep related, but it is off-road related, sort of. So I'm buying a KHS, what is it? Zaka. Zaka. So I traded that whole diamond back for this one, and, and also Chris behind the camera, he has one of these two in red, so we'll show that one off too. Yeah. So let's get to building. Uh, we're at Beaumont Bike Shop, so he's helping me out with the brake, the disc brake, because, oh, I, I do have that tool. You have the yeah, 25, okay, T25? Yeah. They're already doing Use that on a Jeep? <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, actually, he uses it on a Volkswagen. Oh, that's too. Yeah. T25? Yeah. So you're mechanically inclined, huh? Oh, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> First is to get the wheels off of the bike frame so we can actually get to assembling it. Oh, and this is Chris's bike back there. He has a KHS also. This is the... A light? A light? I don't know. A light. Light. I, don't know. <laughs> I really like his bike. That's the only reason I went with um, KHS myself. And also because the store was empty and that's all I had. <laughs> but no, his bike is really smooth. So I'm, I think I'm going to be happy with it. Yeah, and check out the color. It's a matte gray with blue accents and white also. I really like the matte gray. So that's another reason I went with this bike. There was another one that was like a dark blue, teal, I don't know. Yeah, and I wasn't really too much of a fan, so this one's pretty cool. Let's see what frame size this is. I think it's a medium, right? Yeah. yeah medium. They have, uh, I'm six feet tall, and this is a medium with 29 inch tires, so should be good enough for me. 32 inch inseam. All right, so there's the bike. It looks freaking sick. I really like it. So we're gonna show the details of us putting it together. Yeah, we're gonna we'll do a time lapse. Um, so I really like it. I honestly like this color a lot. So I think I'm gonna do some accents to it later on. But for now, this looks pretty sick as is. And the seat on this, honestly, it's Christian. Yeah, Christian. I don't know. Compared to his, this is kind of like like a road bike. This one's a little bit more cushioned, so. I guess I have to upgrade, right? <laughs> it should be comfortable. Tell me the top, I should upgrade. Yeah, you should upgrade. <laughs> to, a, to a KHS. To a KHS. Yeah. And then, it has some zoom shocks. So I don't know, I don't know anything about those. Oh, they're, you can't lock them. Aww. Oh. Oh. Right. Bruh. Whatever, no big deal. Upgrade them later. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. So here's the bike all built now. I really like it. The color just looks amazing. I'm happy with it. I, in the box, I don't know. I felt like it was like a hit or miss. But now that I see it built, I really like the bike. So we're about to test test to ride it and then uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, it looks sick. So Zaka is the name, KHS. For the price I got it for with the trade-in, I think it's worth it. And there's Chris's bike next to it, the KHS Alight Elite. Yeah, so they're the same size frame, medium. Uh, mine's 29er, his is 27 and a half. So, yeah, sure we got. I wanted 27 and a half, but the bike shop was all sold out, so I just had to go with the 29. Yeah, here's a better side by side of the 29er versus 27 and a half. Same size frame, different bike, but they're pretty similar shape. So yeah, big difference in the wheels for sure. So. Let's go test it out. Hell yeah, let's go test it let's out. Go. All right, so the bike has an anti-locking uh, front brake. It has this thing here. So like, I'm gonna squeeze the front brake <laughs> and it doesn't lock up. It just, uh, I'm guessing it has like a spring. In, that's what he was saying, it has a spring in there. So it doesn't lock up, which I think is pretty cool. I can't do stoppies though. Let me do a rolling shot. <laughs> Got a bunch of dirt in my face. All right, first day on the dirt. It's not bad. I need to adjust. Uh, I don't even know what it is. 
least that moved the chain over. I need to adjust that, but uh, Thursday I'll take it to the bike shop so he can adjust it. He said he would do it. So yeah, so far so good. 